coming into the fore of of creating joy and happiness and helping people bring out their imagination and their creativity to open their eyes to see the work that she actually does but not just the work that she actually does it is what she creates so that people can you know see see themselves and what they are capable of actually doing themselves and you know passing that on to others because once you Robbie give them that joy that joy is going to overflow in them and pass it on to others as well absolutely that ripple effect you know just having one of my paintings in um, for instance our little grandson Murray the very first time he saw um, Pelagia behind me he went quiet as a mouse, just stared at it. And we all just went all quiet and pointed. So we, you know, got he, and he's done it with all my works that he's seen. He's seemingly um, connecting to it in a really, well, for me, it's, it, it feels a really deep way. It's like he's, he's seeing something, he's feeling something that maybe some others don't um, yep. in his little his little intuitive being, if you know what I mean. He's got yep. all those senses so alive in there and hasn't been, hasn't had life, you know, rub some of them out or anything. Right. You know? hasn't, he's going to hasn't had it ripped out his of him. He's a little intuitive being, if yeah. you know what I mean. He's Absolutely. got all those senses yeah. so alive Yeah, in there it's interesting, been, isn't it, that, life, you, know, that you can, um, I'm just trying to turn something off, but it yeah. won't turn off. Won't turn off. <laughs> turn off. Um, <laughs> Okay, we'll just get rid of it there. Um, but it does. How old is he? He's three. So he started to look at Pelagio, I think he was about two. Um, and every, every you know, when he comes up to Bishano and he sees my work, he'll be talking and then all of a sudden he'll stop talking and he'll just be staring at it. So one day he was crying and I picked him up and took him into our bedroom where I had a big painting. He just stopped, just absolutely stopped and just was staring at it. So that spoke to me as well, that he's picking up something. There's something that's speaking to his little being, you know? And um, so that, yeah, so that, as I said before, it's that now for me, it's the creation of what I do. It's the realisation that it's bringing you know, heartfelt joy that that that, that there's a this ripple effect. I, I want to make a ripple effect. Well, everyone makes a ripple effect. Well, I want to make a ripple effect that's really, you know, adds to someone's life. Yeah. And, and you were just you were just saying, you know, you you do art, and and not and, like you. <laughs> no. When I, and I said to you before, well, everyone, you know, you're, you're unique. I can't do phase work. You know, and so what a buzz to be able to see anyone's art in whatever creation it is that they've chosen or intuitively doing and sitting there and think, what a, what a miracle, what a marvel you are. There you are, this spiritual being in this physical body and you've done something. You've actually done something physical and people, other people are seeing it and they're touched by it. Yes. And, and that's... That, you know, and, and that's what I did with my singing. But then it got to the point where um, maybe some of the environments were affecting me, you know, and I, I needed, I you know, 30 years in the public eye and I, I just found the art, you know, almost enveloped me like these beautiful wings and it, and it just said, you know, now's your time to just, just land gently and, and go into something else and go into another part of you. And the, and the beauty of that was I was then able to, um, connect and I just want that more and more for this world I just you know for people because as you know you, you were saying before with, with everything that's been happening you know it brings out some great things in people and maybe not so great things in people well I'm making choices now in my world to go well isn't that an amazing thing that that person has done for that person whatever that might be you know okay I'm aware that Joe Blow over there has done something not great, but I, I'm not going to give him the time of day. I want more of that joy. I want more of that love for people, you know. And honestly, that's what we, I feel, we just need to mend. We need to heal our wounds. The planet needs to heal. And my art is, 
is that message to humanity really please mm. please go out there and and see it please pick up a leaf please you know like there's been this surgence of ocean swimming since COVID came in you know people are filled with joy because they're going into the ocean and they, they, might, they might not be brilliant swimmers I mean I'm not a brilliant swimmer but what I get from the ocean is far more important to me than getting from A to Z in a record time mm. it's and my they, spiritual journey you see so many people younger people more so now who are actually getting into the water that like this morning I saw yeah oh dozens dozens of younger people you know just walking into the water holding their breath and yeah. you know getting getting in yeah. and I'm thinking you're brave because it's <laughs> going to be me but you know it, it could be me sometime you know going into exactly. the water and, and, exactly. and doing that yeah. but it's 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 an individual thing but if you can bring joy to to a few people then the, as you say, that ripple effect will then extend it out to other people that they know. And the way it works. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, your grandson, who obviously has something within him, mm. is going to be amazing in, in some way when he gets older. Yeah, absolutely. A question, a question I want to ask you is how long you said about 30 years you sang for, and the environments became something that weren't. I would say conducive to you and that feeling that you wanted to give when you were singing and playing music? Well, put it this way, if, you know, because I worked in restaurants, I worked in wine bars and weddings and funerals and whatever, but there were, if I was working in a wine bar earlier on, when someone's drinking alcohol um, and sometimes a lot of alcohol in the environment I was in, you know, I'm singing from a certain place. I'm singing from my soul. And so it's a high vibration. When we come from our soul, it's a high vibration. When we put stimulants like lots of alcohol in, we are of a lower vibration. So I was finding after years of, of doing this that I wasn't personally enjoying the vibration um, and it was getting harder to connect um, from that level. So I ended up stopping singing publicly a while ago, even though I still do, you know, um, I sang at um, Devil Corner, Devil's Corner a while oh, ago. Yes. I, I Did was, you? I, yeah. Nice. I sang at um, the Bishno Food and Wine Festivals um, three years running. All right, okay. So I've certainly done, you know. But my calling is obviously now art. But um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah. So what I ended up doing was going, right, I'm just stopping. I had a particular challenging night um and I sang in old people's homes oh you so would have I, given them a lot of joy it was so good Faye because of course it wasn't a paid job because I knocked on the the home's door and said here I am would you like me to sing you know I'm offering this and um I was just moved to joyous tears you know like some of the the relationships I ended up having um, you know, going and singing in their lunch hour. There was one one woman in her 90s. She was singing along with me in this soprano voice. She had the most incredible voice. Really? Ever, yep. And I just stopped and I said, I believe that we have someone here that must have and still does, obviously, sing and has the most incredible voice. Well, you should have seen her face. Look, she was just once again, filled with joy. So, you know, it's those small things. It's validating. It's it's saying you matter. You might be 90-odd, but you matter to me and you matter to the people in that room, you know. And and um, and, and if nothing else today, that's my message, you know, to give, to, to, to open ourselves up, to not shut down, even though it's easy to shut down because it can be scary to open up and be vulnerable, you know. But you, what you do is you create opportunities, as you did for that 90-year-old woman, to recognise that she is allowed to sing. She yeah. can express herself. She yeah. has an amazing voice. And she's probably suppressed it because she didn't think anyone would want to hear it. But you brought, you brought out the joy yeah. that was within her 
just yeah. suppressed for such a long time. Yeah. Hopefully she's still singing if she's yeah, still well, alive. I, yeah. yeah, well, you hope so, don't you? you know? And yeah. that, that's, that's how powerful we are as human beings or spiritual beings in these incredible bodies because we can just through, you know, the fact that you contacted me to ask me to come and do this, well, that was pretty lovely. You know, I felt really great. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I felt I felt nervous, but I felt really happy. You know that you would, that someone would want to have me talking um, about my life and about my art and, and my music and things that matter to me. You know that's that's a, a you've given me a gift, and so I thank you. Oh, you really should. But what you're doing actually is when someone is listening, you're giving them a gift to inspire them to maybe. You know, we have the amazing NGV here with all the art and all those sorts of things in there to go and look at the art or to start painting or to start singing or just to, to fill their cup and feel joyous. Yeah, yeah. Because well, you're talking about what you do so that you can give that joy to others. So, yeah. you know, yeah, it, that's it. What goes around comes around. That, that's it. And I had, um, uh, do you know, have you heard of Cygnus down in Tassie? Oh, yes, I know. I know Tassie. I come from there. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you came from here. <laughs> yes, I know it very well. Oh, well, that's <laughs> lovely. That's yeah. great. Mm. Fellow Tasmanian. Yeah. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Cygnus, you definitely know. Um, so a lady, uh, it's funny how life works, isn't it? Um so uh, a friend of my daughter's, she was, uh, she's a hairdresser and this new lady came in, never been to this particular salon before, and this lady um, owned a gallery. And so um, my friend ended up uh, telling her about me and she said, oh, show me some of her work on her page. So she did and this lady rang me up the next day um, and she owns Hue and Art and um we just got on so well. It was nearly a two-hour phone call. And so two of my paintings uh, went into her gallery and this triptych that I'm doing now with Thalassa, um, that will go in there, I believe. Um, and there's this, this lovely little story. I love hearing stories about what it is that, you know, a person buys a piece of art. Well, why did you buy that art? What was your story, you know? And this man, 74-year-old man, was walking past the gallery the night before, saw my work. Um, he came in the next day and bought the biggest, the bigger of the two pieces, just like that, went across the road and bought a, a rug, which was um, similar colours to the painting, so he could put in his space. Um, and he used to be a diver, right. diving since he was 18. And there was this connection yeah. that he felt. Um, obviously, and um, he placed it in his bedroom. Wow. So that's a really intimate setting. Yeah. To, yeah. You know, because that's when we, for me, I feel that's where we, we're quite vulnerable, you know. Our feelings are all, you know, very almost, I don't Lots know. Lots of you emotions. Know. Lots yeah. of emotions, yeah. And when I wake up in the morning, Sometimes I feel like a little girl again, you know, before my brain starts to work with maybe some of the challenges in life. The realities. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I yeah. prefer to be in that childlike sort of state, you know, sometimes. And and even like first thing in the morning, even when I, I'm at Warbs Bay and I come around the corner at the Surf Life Club and there's lots of swimmers there, sometimes I have to check in with myself whether I actually want, to, if I feel like that to go around and socialise at 7 o'clock in the morning because mm. sometimes my being wants to just grab the dogs and go down to that little beach. And be um, alone. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're running out of time. Okay. So what, what tips would you give someone who, you know, is a musician who can see or can sing or can paint? What would you say to them? I would say enjoy every moment you can of that process, of the, of the de development of yourself. Because every time we create, we're developing. We're, we're learning about us. Um, I'd say if this is something you want to do, if this is your beautiful passion, with every cell of your being, follow it. 
Mm. Have belief. Um, know that your work, that your art or your creative um, space that you are bringing out into the world will have a ripple effect. It will and it can change lives and it can do such good in the world just because also just because we see somebody believing in themselves, you know. So it's that belief of going home and creating something and going, well, look at that. I actually did that. Well, that's that's beautiful. Mm. So follow the beauty in your being, I say. Yeah. And have faith. Have faith in who you are. And have faith in who you are and be around people that have that faith. Have people that support you in your in your world. Yeah. You know, because sometimes we can have great gifts um, and not feel supported. And so we might never come out into the world. Mm. But just having somebody say, you know what, that actually, that's special. That's yeah. great. Well done. Well done you, you know. It, it's mm. so important to, to know that as individuals we are all enough and, you know, have faith and believe in ourselves and have that confidence and that ability to have a go. It doesn't matter if you can't achieve it the way you want to achieve it. You've had a go at it. You know what you can do and what you can't do. Take the lessons from that yeah. and get on to something else that you yeah. may be able to do that is better. Exactly. And from a seed comes a tree. From, in my case, a doodle with a child's crayon came a massive part of my life. So Did you never steal all those crayons from your children. <laughs> <laughs> Did they well, get to use them themselves? Well, there was a bit of a fight for them that day, I can remember. <laughs> you, you just took it from them. Oh my goodness. Oh, we shit. shared, Faye. We, we shared. shared. We shared the joy of the colour. <laughs> thank you. Now, Robbie, I just want to say thank you so much. Robbie Burrows, if you want to see any of her artwork or anything like that, go on to Robbie Burrows' Instagram or Facebook and enjoy the process and contact her if you want to see any of her art or buy any of her art work. And I've, I've also got uh, all my, uh, I have a professional photographer who's uh, uh, created some amazing images of all my paintings and that um, I'm ticking up all the cards tomorrow. So Beautiful. I will be able to, um, yeah, that's my next thing. So people can access my art with their cards as well. Fabulous. Okay. I am Faye Waterman. This has been a conversation.